Oh, and just said goodbye to somebody else. Pain, mm. probably. So basically, it's an old-fashioned competition. I thought that was quite Pro- interesting. Proper, but I, th- I believe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear one. Um, I don't know whether this is an old coin or not. Yeah, C-scope. So I know some people that watch this are metal detector people. All right, so just over a couple of weeks to go before I'm heading back to the nurseries. Um, and you will have possibly seen this little unit here and I've been using as a backdrop for doing product reviews and um, some other content. So some of this stuff now I need to pack up to take back with me. I think I have now, as I'm recording this, pretty well done all the product reviews that I'm going to be doing here at home. I might have one more coming in, um, but any other product reviews now are going to be in a couple of weeks' time. I've put a pause to everything, basically, um, because obviously I need to start packing things up. So I'm going to be taking off some of the um, lighting. So if you watched a Timu video recently that I did, I was going on about how cool this lighting is. Um, and there's some other bits and bobs on here that need to come back with me. Trail cam here. I've got another trail cam. I've still got some clips of the trail cams, to be honest, uh, that I need to do. Um, I've got a couple of product reviews down here. I've got a faulty one, which I'm waiting to hear back from somebody in China. They were on holidays in a moment. I've got a couple of giveaways coming up. Keep a watch out. Uh, it won't be for a few weeks yet. Um, and another, a number of other items that basically can come off this shelf and uh, get ready to go. I need to put my old bottles. So those that have been watching the vlogs will have a, an idea of what I'm talking about when I say my old bottles um, into the car and all being well, take them over to the hive in Altrincham, freeing up some more space. I've got some other bits and bobs I need to, uh, to drop off. Um, and I was going to spend, I'm just looking out the window here, I was going to spend today grounded because apparently we were going to have a yellow warning for snow and it was all going to be doom and gloom and basically it's peeing it down. Right, I'm going to try now to sort this unit out to what needs to come with me at the nurseries and what's staying here when I make my departure in a couple of weeks. Right, that's those shelves emptied. Ah, should I take Simon with me? If you watch at Christmas, you'll have a clue what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch the Christmas Day video, you won't have a clue. Um, <laughs> I've had this up on um, this top shelf here for a while, so I've got... Uh, this is what Simon had made for it. It could be quite haunting. I might, I might put it in my office, uh, put it on the back of the chair, and then when anybody passes by... They might think um, there's somebody sat on the chair. I think I'm going to take that with me. Um, so these are just random bits. That's the crap drawer out of the kitchen, which we emptied. Uh, just a couple of boxes, some photocopying paper, some envelopes, some other bits, batteries. Just random other bits that Sandra's going to need when I've gone. Um, and then, so this is boxes to come back with me um, and then I'll have probably two bags with clothing in it started to sleet outside as well a couple of bags with a bit of clothing in um, and all that should fit into the car all okay right I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then load up the car and drop some bits and bobs off and fingers crossed I'm going to see somebody as well all being well Fingers crossed, um, who appeared on a video a few weeks ago. Keep watching. It's miserable. Very miserable. Right, I'm hoping. So there's one, two, three, four boxes of old bottles. All being well, somebody's going to be in at the hive. And in them boxes, which I'll open up later, since I found my car keys. Um, when I was young, oh, literally, I don't know how long, 11, 12, 13, something like that, I had a metal detector. C-scope, I think it was made by. Um, one of my uncles had one as well. Um, I used to be a metal detecting, locally, it wasn't like uh, 
It wasn't like it is now with metal detecting where it's very serious now. And I've just found in the bottles a jar with some of my metal detecting finds. Um, so what I might do, I'm just going to go and get this run around sorted out now for a couple of hours. And then, um, yeah, I might just tip out some of the content of that jar and show you some of the things that I found all them years ago with a metal detector. A really, 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 really old first generation melt detector. Um, right. So they said we've got a yellow weather warning of um, snow today and it's been wet. Although, as I'm just recording this now, we have got a bit of sleet. I just said goodbye to somebody else and we'll probably never see it again. Um, well, we've got some big bits of snow coming down now. Oh, how exciting. Right. Let's get this. All the run around bits and bobs done before um you know what it's like in this country you get a millimeter of snow and the whole fucking country comes to a halt oh <gasps> swore sorry 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 children Beep. it's so bad outside all the roads are closed it's it's bedlam there's nobody out because of the snow. bobbins in it it's bobbins it's just absolute but bobbins it's not as dramatic as the news makes out quite frankly it's just a bit of drizzle it's fine no snow mentioning unfortunately though yeah, snake pass if has got it but you get it up there that's why they have snow gates that's the clue Absolutely, isn't it yeah we've just got a bit of slush when it comes down to us haven't we <laughs> unbelievable right i've just handed over some old bottles and i've just found some these some these are really um don't lose your bottle so uh, read this out so it says it's got your personal number is and for example this one's 50714 and then it says keep a careful eye on the classified columns of the Altrincham and Sale Guardian over the next four weeks if your personal number appears take your bottle to your to our offices um, in Altrincham and claim your free bottle of champagne so basically it's an old-fashioned competition I thought that was quite Pro interesting proper, but I, th I believe these were actually all delivered everybody had them and then there's an offer for advertising and but what wow Great bit of history isn't it look at that it's got blue writing not black writing on it as well look at that I think so this one possibly might be the same let's open I'm it presuming yeah, it's going to be the one, same yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm well, this one someone was ordering it mum all oh, right Very oh Northern. it's me mum's <laughs> hang on a minute there's nothing on the back of here is there hang on a moment <laughs> Well, dad, but you say mums. Mam, if it's got your mum or mam. Mam. Mam, my dad, that's my dad's writing that. Oh, there you my go. Mum, my mum's always called me mam by my dad. Oh, really? uh, yeah, yeah, not me mum. Right, Northern. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> mam. So those of a certain age, did you call your mother mother, mum or mam? Uh, my also, dad. do you, anyone remember entering these competitions? Yeah. I think that's fascinating, that. Yeah, absolutely. Did anyone actually win that bottle of champagne? <laughs> you know something? I, later on in life, when I was about 15, to earn some money when the Altrincham and Sale Guardian was had competition from the Sale Altrincham Messenger, because that's what happened. We, I went round knocking on doors because it was a paid-for newspaper, local at the time. Yeah. And I think from memory, I got fifty p. If I got somebody to sign up to buy a newspaper, I think I got something like fifty p. Yeah. Which was back in the day. Like it's like about a fiver. Oh really? You know what I mean? I'm a teenager. You're know, knocking on the. <laughs> did you Did you get the um the the Altium Guardian last week and all that? No. I so, said, do you want a free copy? And you give him a free copy. And then she signed up on week two. I think I got another twenty p or something. But you well, know great what I mean? Incentive, yeah. 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 But, just little sort of young entrepreneur that, that yes <laughs> <laughs> right gareth sorry this sorry gareth um we met steve last week didn't we yes uh, and you were on a video back over a year ago that's it yeah so if you go back through neil's videos we had uh you had a little tour of the shop didn't you with both of us so um for those of you that remember that hello again <laughs> uh but yeah the recent one which was done i think two or three days ago was a little look at the expansion we're doing so steve's on that video and i was busy serving in the shop so we like to take turns and steve today is in there doing some work so here i am on the video <laughs> crack the whip fantastic and i'm just saying uh wishing guys I'm sure from everybody out there, all our viewers, we are wishing you the best of luck thank with your new you, venture. Thank you very so, much. Um, and please come down and see when we're open. Hopefully, in the next month or so, we'll have a beautiful new space in Ogden for you to enjoy. And thanks, Neil, for telling everyone about us. No, been... you're more than welcome. What a, it's been great watching your journey from Ogden market stall and the vision a dream to yeah. hear and to next door it's, it's crazy been... when we think back when I, I look at that six foot table we had how on earth we made a living out of it but where there's a world there's a way as you say you can do can't you so next stop world domination <laughs> right it's somebody's birthday today um 
Do, 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 do. Which way am I going? I think I'm going that way. So can you guess whose birthday it is? He has been on the video recently. Right. Let's try and find the flat. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Right, so if you haven't, if you haven't guessed who, who I'm with, <laughs> I'm with I'm with a former partner in crime. Yes, aren't you are. I, Wayne? Yes. What day is it, Wayne? It's the Thursday. Thursday. And what's the date? Eighth of February. Okay, dear. And what we're we celebrating? My birthday, my sixty, my sixty-one birthday today. Sixty-one today, sixty-one today. He's got the key of the bed. He's never been before. He's <laughs> Calm down. Don't be cheeky. No. Pat, stop, 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 stop. We're not having any of this now. No. 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 Oh, no. Come on. Keep yeah. it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> right, Wayne. I'm going to sing. Well, from not just from me, but from my viewers out here. Right. Right. So my brothers and sisters. Yeah. We're all going to sing happy birthday to you. Right. right. So you at home now, Pat, tell them, just point them at home now, you are watching this now, I want you to join in and wish this young man here, he's at six, you know, if I got to 61, I don't know what I would do, because I'm only 47, you know. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, what would I do if I got to 61, right? I don't know. Were you kidding? <laughs> what? <laughs> what about Cheeky. Right, you're right. All at home, come on, join if away. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Wayne. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much from everybody. There you are, right. Yeah, thank you. Give everybody a cheeky smile and a big wave. Hello. Wayne. Go on. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello, I'm still here. <laughs> still here. Everybody in the band of Tele Blackpool as well. Oh, good grief. Oh, well, shh. Shh. Wayne. What happens in Blackpool? Days in Blackpool. Oh, I, I watched the other night. Oh, there was nothing much I'll tell you. I turned over on seven, didn't I? You did. They were watching Bread. Oh, I had a Oh, Bread, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And they were coming out with that, uh, the, the young lad, and I thought, oh, God, fetch his memories back what Neil said. What Days in Blackpool? <laughs> <laughs> so that's so that's that Wayne doing okay. Uh, and if you're a new viewer, I was a PA for Wayne. Uh, a few years back for several years um you take him out and things like that and used to live across the road from us and unfortunately he got a little bit poorly and he's been bed bound for the last i think it's three years anyway really good to see pat and wayne and uh say goodbye to them we be i'm too sure when i'm next going to see them oh we'll go down the stairs shall we uh yeah another Goodbye to people. Been a few of them today. Right. Sat in. Survived the snowstorm. Ah, <laughs> you're gonna make it up with you. The, the weather forecast. We've had the, like this yellow weather warning that's been up for days and days and days. And basically, we had about a minute of snowflakes coming down, and all it's doing is pouring down with rain. Anyway, hey ho, that's the weather mop flops. So I mentioned earlier, so when I was young, young, I was I definitely was at secondary school. So I'm guessing 12, 13, 14, something like that. One of my uncles bought a metal detector and I went out with him. Uh, I can't remember where we went now. I can't remember where we went now. Everything was very different. This is a long time ago, getting on to 50 years ago to what it is now. And he found some coins dug them up with the trowel and put them back in again and things like this and it's like how on earth does that metal detector work and it goes beep 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 this before i can't remember the name of the was it a discre you now have discriminators now don't you which you you can discriminate against tin anyway but back then like all the um drink cans used to have pull rings and you were finding pull rings left right and center anyway i Obviously, as, as a young kid, used to do quite a few jobs um, of various things to earn a bit of money. And I saved up my money and I bought myself a C-scope metal detector with earphones. And, um, yeah, we went out. We went to um, all sorts of places, including where I live now. We have a green across the way. And when everything was built, there used to be a bench for people to sit down on and i don't know why the bench got removed but the bench got removed but i can remember the bench being there 
I thought, I wonder if anybody ever sat on the bench and lost any money. And it's literally across the road from where I live. Quite when I say across the road. And anyway, yeah, beep, 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 beep. And I've found some old coins and all the rest of it. And then down the bottom of the road on the donkey field, there was another old bench that got removed. And I thought, there used to be a bench round here. I wonder if anybody dropped any money out of their pockets. And sure enough, I found found stuff. Anyway, I squirreled away my findings. I found a couple of gold rings um, and things. And I've not, obviously, I've not forgotten that I kept some of the findings, but I just, we've cleared the house. You, you watch us clear the house. I, I never come across the container, the jar of some of the findings that I kept. And then in the box of old bottles I've just taken down to the hive today, there was a broken jar underneath them all with, look at this, this lot. So these are some of the things that for some reason I've kept. Um, so none of it's of any, I don't think of any, any of it's of any value. It's just as a boy just finding things. So a little badge there, to show what the Iron Cross badge is for. I saw that before. That's an Air Training Corps um, badge. Um, I don't know whether this is an old coin. I'm not too sure what that is. Some sort of tokens and things. Keys. So this has been hit. I'm guessing it's an old penny. I'm guessing by a lawnmower. Um, it's been chopped in half. Other things. Some oldish coins and yeah um threepenny bit and i said I, I had some i had definitely had a couple of gold, gold gold rings that i found um i think that's an old buckle of some sort no idea the age these are i don't know what these are off are they off trees or something um But yeah, I can't remember. Oh, that's so old. I can't even see the date on it. That's well old. I think. I don't know. I think that's the inside of a watch. All rusted up. As I say, nothing of any value, value. But anybody that's ever done metal detecting, you always got a bit of a buzz when you found something. Um. That was interesting. There's some really old stuff in here. I can't find dates. That's that 1921. But there was some um, stuff that was a lot older. Whether or not I've, I've got rid of it, I don't know. 1912. So, yeah, I was metal detecting. Getting on to half a century ago before um, many other people were doing it. And, yeah, C-Scope. So I know some people that watch this are metal detector people. <laughs> Is the company C Scope still going? Um, I've got no, I have got no idea. I've actually got um, uh, in an old family photo album somewhere. I've actually got a picture of a denim bag that my mum made to put my metal detector in, and then I cut out some lettering that got sewed on this like denim bag, and it had metal detector on it. And then there used to be. Um, Again, I'm going back to the early 70s. There used to be like a metal detecting magazines and everything. I think like on a monthly magazine that used to be out. So if you've got a metal detector or had a metal detector, what's the most exciting find that you ever found? So my most exciting finds, and I think I read out some letters, was we were at Conway on holiday one year. And you've got the pub called the Liverpool, I think it's called the Liverpool at Conway uh, by the quay sort of thing where the harbour is. And I was metal detecting there and I found several dog tags, the name of the dogs, you know, like Russia with a telephone number and address on. And I actually returned a number of dog tags to the owners, wrote to them going, oh, I've just found Russia's dog tag at Conway on the beach. Um, please have it back. And... The best thing about that was several people wrote back to me to say thank you 
And bear in mind, you know, I'm 12, 13 at the time, whatever, 14 maybe. Several people actually wrote back and then gave me all details about the dog. And, you know, we were on holidays and Russia was in the sea and she lost her dog tag and we'd never thought we'd see it again. And thank you ever so much for sending it. So, uh, what wonderful memories. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that lot. I need to, um, I'm going to need to get a... I've just noticed that. What's that? Two... Two shillings. I need, need to um, get a jar. Stash it away for another 50 years for somebody to find. And then them coins that used to be 100 years old will be 200 years old. Mm -hmm. 